Wow. They're really doing this. Yes, right. What's up? All right. Paper Mario. Color Splash. Y'all be hating. We get upset. Y'all be hating. Ain't play the game. Y'all be hating. Cause you lame. Y'all be hating. Ain't play the game. Y'all be hating. What is going on, everybody? How? are y'all doing we have some dope dope a couple a couple of dope 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 nintendo switch news items for you dudes and dudettes give the video a huge thumbs up like like let's get to over 150 likes on this video look at that like count right now let's do it all right the first news item is a pretty pretty big one bro i don't know if we're gonna get gamecube on nintendo switch online services they might stop at nintendo 64 because if we keep getting these metroid prime level type remasters nintendo might be on to something but the this the first news item today is Related to another GameCube remaster and the best Paper Mario game ever in the series, in my opinion. Thousand Year Door. Looks like it's being remastered and coming to the Nintendo Switch. Here's the news. I'm going to share my thoughts. This is coming from a member of Famiboard. And this is, his, this is what he's actually saying, his actual words from his leaked sources. As some of you know, I do hobby journalism behind the scenes and research various things for fun. Some accurate Nintendo rumors that were reported by YouTubers and other sites in the past partially were based on my research. As I said, I don't like attention and thus always ask everyone to keep me private, which I intend to continue to remain private in those stories. However, now I have some super excite excited that i'm aware of that was bad verbiage typo or something paper mario the thousand year door remaster is finally happening and coming out soon what he says i have been in touch with three sources with this one of them redirected me to the third source who i hadn't interacted before so it was just me cold messaging them on linkedin because this third source wouldn't acknowledge the release, the release date I had heard from the previous two sources. I'll just leave it as coming soon. Bro. Now, this is a game that doesn't really need too much retouching if you're going to remaster. Unless, like I say, they, do the, they give it the Nintendo the um, metroid prime treatment <laughs> where like even like these animations like they update the animations and really do more to it but the paper mario games they age real good go and play the very first paper mario game paper mario 64 the game aged real good and with the art style it just looks good so <coughs> Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, the best Paper Mario game. Man, they need to go back to the just RPG roots of the Paper Mario series. Coming to the Nintendo Switch very soon, according to this leak. Please give us a Metroid Prime remaster level remaster. Bro, put some work in it. My expectations are high since it's Metroid Prime. All right, so this is dope, this is dope, this is dope. But we ain't done yet, bro. Hit you with another one. The next news item. Speaking of remakes. Another remake. Jet Set Radio Reboot and Persona 3 Remake has been leaked and confirmed by numerous websites so um it looks like we're gonna be getting jet set and i've never played jet set radio this is during the dream dreamcast gamecube um days 
But the game looks fun. The game looks fun. I've never been a fan of skateboarding type games really too much. But I thought this was dope. And if you're a fan of the series, bro, check it out. Now, the next news item is also pretty dope. Sonic Frontiers. The best, arguably the best 3D Sonic game ever will continue to get updates. According to the game's direct, the game director, fans of the game will be um, um, getting a few mu more updates to the game. Specifically, the second update will be adding Spin Dash. That's pretty dope. Where you don't have to run to build up speed. You can just and blast off. That's dope. Um, Hope's Chaos Garden. Um, I think this is the Spin Dash. And it also says he hopes that the Chaos Garden can be considered for a next game. All right. This is the official tweet. Um, Morio Kishomoto has confirmed that Spin Dash is coming to Sonic Frontiers with Update 2. He revealed that noticing the leaks we highlighted. And in another reply, he confirmed that Chaos Garden is considered for the next big game. So Spin Dash coming to Sonic Frontiers. I still haven't beaten this game. This is on my backlist. But... I'm definitely going to be beating this game. All right, the next news item, and this is going to be the next game I'm buying. Final Fantasy, uh, the Pixel Remasters. The bundle file size has been revealed for the Nintendo Switch, and um, you, can you can purchase each game separately, which I'm going to do. I'm just getting Final Fantasy 1. That's all I want. I've beaten all these games already. But, if you're trying to get the bundle, all of the games in one, only 5.7 gigabytes. That's great, bro. So it's only 5.7 gigabytes for all the games in the series. Dope, dope, dope stuff. And this next news item, another one, is also huge. Bro, Square Enix has updated a Dragon Quest 12 logo having many to speculate that news might be coming soon this is coming from Twitter user Solstice and uh, they tweet out mysteriously the Dragon Quest 12 logo has been updated I found this from a Japanese website and it seems like it might be the press release logo it could mean we'll be getting Dragon Quest 12 news soon but I haven't beaten Dragon Quest XI, and that's a shame. I definitely, this is another game on my backlist that I want to beat. But, um, Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest series are dope. I've beaten so many of the Dragon Quest games. Love the franchise, love the series. Um, we could be getting a Dragon Tw Qu Quest Twelve news announcement anytime. Those are the news items for this video. All right. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. Um, I want to know, but before you go, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date, all things Nintendo. What am I doing? I'm currently on the final boss in Splatoon 3. Single player campaign. Still haven't beaten it yet, but we lit. All right. We out. This channel that I'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when I had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers, man. And um, he's probably gonna lose shit when I do this, but hey, man, I gotta say, my boy OB1, my boy OB1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit on a smaller level. His channel, when I look at it, it's such a nostalgia trip. And he has a really cool audience, too, man. And if you could show this nigga some love, too, that'd be awesome. I don't shout people out unless I like them a lot. A lot. I'm picky with that. Um, anyways, my boy Obi One, your boy Obi One. Hey man, I got you right here, my boy. Get that man a little bit of a look, man. He reminds me of me when I was smaller. You want to take a look in the past, my boy? This is the way you do it. I got you, Jedi master, the right Jedi master. Jedi master. <laughs> I got you, man. You're playing two towns. I got you, homie. I'm dedicating a workout set. To you, my boy. Let's go, man. <laughs> 26, 27, 28. He said, Hey, no, Like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paper Mario, color splash. 
Y'all be hating. We get in cash. Paper Mario. Color splash. Y'all be hating. We get in cash. Y'all be hating. Ain't play the game. Y'all be hating. 